Live from Nickelodeon Studios, where Nick is made, it's Slime Time Live. Now, here's your host, the guru of gushing green goo himself, Dave Azer. You are watching Slime Time Live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Slime Time. Check out the very cool Hypno Ray, courtesy of Jimmy Neutron we have today. We also got some great Nick tunes for you guys, Tiny Tunes. We got Rugrats, a very special Jimmy Neutron episode. Hey Arnold and SpongeBob, all the way to 5, 4, 10. So a lot of stuff happening yes, today, guys. And by your phone because we may call and hypnotize you into winning some prize. Can you hypnotize over the phone? Is that possible? I can. Okay. And know your shows is coming up too. So you don't want to Don't forget Challenge Jonah today either. You will watch Tiny Tunes. Slime Time Live is jumping. Coming up, eight of the 16 contestants will be jumping ahead and closer to the big Shabuzi Showdown. You'll be jumping for joy at this mess. It's coming right up. Welcome back to Slime Time Live, live outside for the first time this season from Mix Studios here in Orlando, Florida. Well, as we usually do here on Slime Time, we're going to play some games. We have 16 players surrounding me with blue t-shirts on. We are going to eliminate half of them with our first game of the day. The game is called the High Race Splatface. And remember, we're going to play a few games until we are down to our two finalists, and they're going to move on to the big shibuzi. Okay, when I say go, these guys standing next to me, they're going to take a pie. They're going to pass it down all the way to the end of the line. The person at the end of the line is going to pie themselves in the face. We're going to keep doing that until everyone has a pie. The first team that is completely covered with pie in the face wins and moves on. Ready, set. Go for it, guys. Pass those pies down. Yeah, it's pretty hot out here, so those pies are melting a little bit. We'll have some runny pie on the face. Who's going to win? It is the team on the left. They have won the game, and I think they're going to get a little bonus pie action. Congratulations, guys. Four tiny tunes. It's Slime Time Live. Hey, Jonah, buy somebody, would you? When the pie needs to fly, call the J-Man. I'm your guy. Hey, I have two more. Hey, one of you at home in just seconds is going to win a prize. Will it be you? Stay tuned to find out. Woo! Hey, guys. Welcome back to Slime Time. We're going to play the History Mystery Mess. This is Zakia. We're going to ask you a question about what happened on this day in history, okay? And if you get it right, we're going to dump this on your head. And we're going to give you a SpongeBob pillow back there, okay? The question is, September 10th, which is today, the first TV dinner was sold. The question is, what year was it? A, 1953, B, 1977, C, 1985. A, B, or C? C. No, it was A, 1953, so you don't get the SpongeBob pillow, but we'll dump this on your head anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to Slime Time here from Orlando, Florida, where we are excited to report that today is actually the, the hottest, hottest day, day in, history. in the history of time. Right. And I have on corduroy, in case anyone's wondering why. It is 742 <laughs> degrees right now. <laughs> Well, in case you guys don't know, Jimmy Neutron has his own show Friday night today, 37, 30 Central. And if you guys missed it, we're going to show you a special Jimmy Neutron today at 4, 3 Central. And Jessica, let's see if this guy knows I Jimmy do. Neutron. For Peter, Peter, here is your question. If you get it wrong, you dip your head in the bowl of slime, which would feel really good. If you get it right, you win an STL prize pack. Okay, which Retroville resident is always competing with Jimmy? Is it A, Libby Vortex, B, Nick Dean, or C, Goddard? Hey, you are right! What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back to Slime Time, where we now have eight blue players, and after this game, we will have four blue players, because four are moving on, four are eliminated. This game is called the Applesauce Crisscross Toss. We got our two teams of four standing diagonal to each other. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. These guys over here, they're going to take these applesauce-filled balloons. They're going to throw them over to their teammates. Their teammate is then going to transfer it to the other teammate who's going to break it. The applesauce is going to spill in the bucket. When whichever team has more applesauce in the bucket after 30 seconds wins. And just to make things a little more interesting, this is Mark. He's got a blindfold on. He's just going to be waving this thing back and forth, trying to break those balloons, basically create a little trouble just to make it more hard. All right, or harder, I guess, as they say in the English language. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds on the clock. By the way, I just want to point out, Mark is from Australia, which is the land down under, appropriate, being that he is down under all these other players in this game. Thank you very much. I just broke that one. Five seconds left on the clock. Working up a nice sweat out here. We are out of time. Out of time. Let's see who has more. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Uh, these guys over here. Yeah, these guys have more. So they're moving on. You guys and your teammates and Mark, Thanks a lot, bud, for helping us out, and welcome to America. <laughs> Put down that remote, Slime Time is back. After this, Nicktoon. Okay, Zarek, you know how it goes. You finish my rhyme, you win. Here it goes. 
He rides a rocket that goes real fast. He Jimmy Neutron, he's got a blast. That works for me, very good. Got a blast off next game coming up. Right after more Tiny Tunes. Don't you think about it. Back here on Slot Time Live, it's our own version of the Final Four. The last four blue shirts, and they will be the final two blue shirts when this game is over because two of these four guys are moving on to play in the Big Shibuzi. Now, in honor of the big Jimmy Neutron Encore, which you guys will see at 4 3 Central today, we are going to play a Jimmy Neutron game, and the game is called God of Blast. These two guys right here, they're going to pick up their robot arms. They're going to use their robot arms to uh, pick up these moon rocks. They're going to flip those moon rocks over to their teammates. Teammates are then going to squeeze out the moon fuel until it reaches this line in the bucket. They're then going to jump aboard the rocket ship. Their teammates are going to come over here and give them a little push across that finish line. And the first team to do that, oh, they're going to be shaboozing. Here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go. Yeah, they, they will be shaboozing. That's the verb tense of the word shaboozing. I like it. I like it. Two words. To shabooz. There, there was nothing in there. There you go. Come on, guys. Use those robot uh... arms. Now, guys, if they hit the floor, you can't use them. If they hit the floor, you can't use them, all right? Yeah, Dave's changing rules on us. We're going to change the rule now permanently, at least okay. as far as today is concerned. Then we're going to try to change it back again. <laughs> hey, can't argue with the uh, You guys are, like, right to almost there, and now you are there. All right, All right, go. jump aboard. Jump aboard. Yeah, come on, is it locked well, or something? Well, have the brakes on the rocket. You don't eat your cereal? Your, your power this morning? That's it, they won! Congratulations! Yes! We're jumping up and down. We're firing up these guys. Great job. They're moving on to the big shibuzi. Thanks to our other two players down there for making it this far. An all-new Know Your Show is coming up. Did you send us a postcard? I hope so, because if you did, you could be our next contestant to play. Know Your Show! Uh -huh. Watch the next Tiny Toons episode very carefully and be able to answer my Know Your Shows quiz afterwards. Slime Time Live's Know Your Show starts right now. Welcome back to Slime Time. I am here with Patrick from Billings, Montana. And Patrick, what would you like? A pop. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go, buddy. It's a little melty today because it's 90 degrees, but you know what? I think it's time to do a little Know Your Show. East Rutherford, New Jersey. Hi, Christopher. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Uh, cool. Christopher, do you have any friends you want to give any shout-outs to? Because they can hear you. They're watching TV. They can hear you. Okay. Go ahead. The names are John, Michael, and Brian. Hi, John, Michael, and Brian. Christopher, what grade are you in this year? Seven. Yeah, is it going good for you? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, Christopher, if you know the answer to this question, you could win this prize right here. Argus Photo Phaser Digital Camera with VGA Resolution, LCD Status Display, and 60-second Video Function from Argus. Thank you, Jonah. All right, Christopher, here is your question. Who finally wakes Plucky up from his nightmares? Buster. Buster, you're right. Congratulations, Christopher. You won yourself a prize. And thanks for playing Know Your Shows. Have a great day, Christopher, and keep watching Slot Time Live. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Slime Time Live rolls right along. We're going to play ourselves another game, because that's what we like to do around here. As you can see, we have 16 red shirts. After this game, we're going to have eight. Eventually, we're going to have two, and those two will move on to the big school. You will face the two blue players that you just saw a few minutes ago advance. So, guys, this game is called Find the Slime. You all have balloons. Eight of these balloons are magical because they have slime in them. Eight of them only have gak in them. When I say go, you're going to break those balloons on your head. In fact, somebody just did. And look at that. You have slime. So you've already won the game. Congratulations. Nice to go. Good job. You've already won. Seven people will join this lady right here when I say go by breaking the slime balloons on their head. Ready, set, go. Break them. Who's got the slime? If you have the slime, come on in the middle. Come on in if you got the slime, guys, because you have just moved on. And we're going to have ourselves a little group hug. We're going to get nine. Nice and slimy here. Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. There you go. So these eight will move on. Eventually we'll have four, and then we'll have two, and then we'll have the big schmoozy. It'll be really good. It's great. Our next all new slime stuff elimination round is coming up. Do you hate having to eat your vegetables? Well, then our next elimination round is for you. Stay tuned. Just Jimmy is coming up next, right here on Slime Time Live. Guys, we're getting ready to play another game here on Slime Time Live. And another reminder, even though I'm sure y'all already have the VCRs all set up, Jimmy Neutron today, 4-3 Central right here on Nickelodeon. You get to see the episode, so uh, hey, there you go. 
And in honor of Jimmy, we're going to play another Jimmy Neutron game right now. The game is called Just Jimmy. We have eight players after this game. Four of them will move on. Eight pies. Four of these pies are the winning pies because they have a picture of Jimmy underneath them. All right? So when I say go, you guys are going to pick a pie, any pie you want. Pie yourself in the face. If you got a picture of Jimmy Neutron underneath, you're moving on. Good luck to you guys. And grab yourself a pie and pie yourself in the face and find me Jimmy Neutron underneath. Jump up and down like a rock star if you have it because you need to celebrate because you just got yourself a little further in our elimination round. Want to congratulate all eight of our players for making it this far and especially to these four for winning the game and moving on. More Rugrats coming up. Uh, what, Randy, what, 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 what are you going to This is Fly Orlando Resort. Hello. Hey, audience. What do we need from the people at home? Postcards! That's right. We need your postcard. So this is what you do. Grab a postcard, write your name, age, address, and phone number, and send it to... Live Time Live, P.O. Box 4999, Orlando, Florida. Reach you 802. That's it. How did that get job with that? That was perfect, Jonah. We're about to find out our two red team winners coming up next. You guys are just tuning in. Hope everyone had a great day at school. We are having a great day here on Slash Time. We have already found out our blue team for the Big Shibuzi, and in about one minute, we will know who the red team is. Two out of these four players will move on. It'll either be these two guys right here or the two guys behind me. And the way we will decide it is by playing another Jimmy Neutron game. Got a blast. In case you guys have never seen it before, what happens is these two guys back here, they pick up these robot arms, and they use the robot arms to get these moon rocks. Then they fling the moon rocks over to their teammates who catch them and use uh, the moon rocks to squeeze out the fuel, and the moon fuel will land up to this line right here, and as soon as it reaches this line, good enough for us. You hop on board the ship, you get behind him, you push it across that finish line. First team to cross the finish line. Oh, yeah, you guys win. Ready? Go! And apparently, guys, we have spoken to the official governing body of this oh, game. The, no, we have. I was just going to say, Jonah. Officially, right, right, now, right. no, we can, Jessica. See, no one listens to me. I'm trying to illustrate a point. You, you guys are, you guys are so proud of yourselves. I was going to say we now have decided that we can't pick it up off the floor. Okay, they're they're just going and they've already won the game. <laughs> Here we are. Yay! Don't mind us, guys. We're just having a little argument. You guys just keep on playing right there. Look at this dude fired up. We need like a pie or something for this guy. Congratulations to these two players. They are moving on to the big shabuzi. Challenge Jonas coming up next. <laughs> One of our newer games. I love this game. It's called Challenge Jonah. What happens is Jonah's going to take on a member of our audience, and if it's anything like yesterday, he's going to lose very badly. Jonah, not a good day yesterday. Can you do it today? It's a new day, a new game, Dave. Have a little faith in it. A little faith. Well, your opponent today is Addy. Addy, you've seen the J-Man. You know what he's all about. You think you can beat him? Of course I can. Look at him. Oh, wow. Well, here's what happens. I'm going to ask Jonah and Addy the same question. They're going to write down their answers. Whoever is closest is going to get slimed. They're going to win the game, and they're also going to get a prize. We'll tell you the prize in a second. But first, guys, write down your answers to this question. We ask kids at Nick.com, what is the best age to start going out on dates? Write down what percentage of kids you think said 16 years old. Jonah, eyes on your own chalkboard. What percentage of kids said 16? Whoever wins, well, I should say if Addy wins, she's going to get this prize. Jessica. Our guest, photo gazer, digital camera with VGA resolution, LCD status display, and 60-second video function from our guest. That's the prize that Addy is playing for. Jonah, you're playing for absolutely nothing, baby. All right, guys, show them the answer. Show them your answers. What percentage of the kids said 16 was the age to start going out on dates? We're going to start going home right now what the correct answer is. And now we're going to find out uh, from Jonah and Addy's standpoint who won, who got closest. When I say three, you guys pull those chains. The slime falls on the winner. One, two, three. Who won? Oh! There you go. Which means Jonah is a big fat O oh for two. Addy, congratulations. You made Jonah look baddy. Addy, baddy. More prizes coming up next. Champion right here. Don't go away, there's more Slime Time action coming up soon. Hey guys, this is Slime Time, and we're having a little Jimmy Neutron hairdo contest. And on the phone we have Zach, and he is going to be our judge. Hey Zach. Hi. Are you watching TV? You see Matt and Sujata here? Yeah. All right, you're going to have to tell me who has the best Jimmy Neutron hairdo, because the winner is going to get this little uh, SpongeBob doll up here, okay? All right, Zach, look at the hairdos. Go ahead, guys, stop. Who is it, Sujata or Matt? Boy or girl? Which one, Zach? Um. Woo! All right, 
right, guys, I know you're probably wondering who won our uh, Jimmy Neutron hairdo contest. Well, Zach, you choose, and he chose his daughter, so congratulations to you because you just got yourself a little SpongeBob pillow. Well done, all right? Very cool. Both you guys, <laughs> go get cleaned up, please. Especially you, man. You got whipped cream all over your face. You go get cleaned up. All right, now over here, let's have our uh, first of three Shibuji showdown rounds. The red team and the blue team. Justin and Rose on the red team. Taking on Alex and Anthony, the blue team. You guys take your places, and we will explain how the game works. Now, this game is worth one point, okay? And we're already going to give both these teams one point anyway to start with, so the score is tied 1-1 right now. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. You guys are going to take these rings. You're going to dip them in slime. You're going to throw the rings and try to get them to land on your teammates and fall all the way down to the ground. The team that gets the most rings on their teammate after 30 seconds, they win the game, they get a point. Ready, set, go. And the team name for our Sabuji Showdown, the red team, Justin and Rose, they are the Red Rovers. And Alex and Anthony, the blue team, they are true blue. And the score right now is... 3-2, 3-3, three, 4-3, three, three, four, three, blue. It is 4-4, four, four, it is 5-4, blue. It is 5-5, five, five, it is 6-5, blue. It is 7-5, blue, we have five seconds left. Three seconds, two, one, and this game belongs to the blue team. Blue team, nice job, blue team. Yes, excellently done. Just for that, why don't you sit in that big old pool slime? Yeah, grab a nice comfortable seat in that pool slime. All right, good job, blue team. They now have the lead two to one. More Hey Arnold is coming up. Welcome back to Slime Time Live. Coming to you live from the studios in Orlando. Here with Jessica. Jess, I love our new Slime Time. We have the coolest toys here. Here we go, you're right. I especially love the uh, challenge donut uh, concoction type thing. That is my favorite. I'm going to get slime just about every day between that Perfect. and the big shibuji. Guys, LaurenNick.com every day and vote on our poll because we use your answers when we challenge Jonah. Coming up next, a true pile up. Don't move. We're getting ready to play our second shibuji showdown right here on Slime Time Live for more points. But before we do that, you know, I had this pie. I was planning on using it in the game, but it's all kind of runny because it's so hot out here. So I guess I'll just throw it away. Gross. That's pretty gross. Oh. You gotta drink that pie. <laughs> Alright, second game of the day, the lunchroom pile-up game. Let's recap the scores. The blue team in the lead right now, two to one, but that could change because this game is worth two points. Here's how it goes. We're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. The guys back here next to me, they're just gonna stack food on their teammates' tray. Whichever team has more items stacked on their tray after 30 seconds wins the game, and they'll get two points that they can use in the big shibuji later on. Good luck, guys. Ready? That's awesome. Set. Go! Oh, Dave, me. I Sorry. feel like I'm a jinx, because the red team loses every day. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jessica's fault that the red team has struggled so far <laughs> in this season of Slime Time. I, I mean, Joe oh. pointed that out to me yesterday. Although the blue team just lost the food off their tray, Jess, so maybe your luck hey, will change could that. turn around for us. Don't waste that food! <laughs> we have now... Five you can, you can seconds left. Four, three, three two, one, and wow. a new world record. Wow. New world record. Wow. That's fantastic. I don't drink to that. Randy, come on back here. Oh. <laughs> Randy, I, I don't want this to go to waste. Let's just throw that in that guy's face. Right there. there it is. Right. Oh. That was rude. <laughs> We're mixing up more mess, and we don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back for our third and final Shibuji Showdown round. After we have played this game, we're going to have all the points we need. We'll be ready for the big Shibuji. Let's recap the scores after two rounds. The red team in the lead. They have three points. Justin and Rose, the Red Rovers. The blue team right behind. Very close. They've got two points, Anthony and Alex. This game is worth three points. You guys take your places. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to play a little hockey. It's called Reggie's Flop Shot. These guys over here, they're going to be our Wayne Gretzky's. We're going to take these slime filled balloons and we're just going to fire them off and try and score some goals. Now, you score a goal when A, not only does the ball get past the goalie, but B, the balloon actually breaks and slime comes out. The balloon has to break and the slime comes out. Whichever team breaks more balloons, they get the three points, they win the game, all right? All right. Ready, set, go! Take out those balloons, try to score on the other team's goalie, and if you can do it, well, we're going to be very happy for you because you're going to get three big points for your team. Gotta hit it harder. We got a little zero zero <laughs> happening right now, Jonah. My team's breaking them oh. before they hit. Hey, the goalie's using his feet. He's kicking them. <laughs> oh! oh. He's the, board. The, the red team just scored, right? Just those. Blue team just scored. Did the red team? Oh, no, they didn't. All right. Hey, 
Three seconds left. Two, one, we are out of time. They did score. I knew the red team scored. It's 1-1, one, one, one. which means we're going to have to have ourselves a little tiebreaker coin flip. The team that won that game is the yeah. blue. Like it should be. Blue team won. Back to Hey Arnold. Blue team back in the lead. Slime time live from the place where the slime is always overflowing. Nick Studios in Orlando, Florida. We have played our three Shibuzi showdown rounds. We are ready for the big Shibuzi, and the score at the end of our showdown rounds is five to three, the blue team in the lead. They will use those points for picks off of our game board, which is right behind me. We will explain more and play the big Shibuzi in just a couple of minutes. So if you guys want to see these four people get completely covered in all kinds of mess, why don't you take your remote control? Slime Time Live is back, and you know, it's not the little Shibuzi, it's not the medium-sized Shibuzi, it's the big Shibuzi, and that is the game we're going to play right now. Look what we did, we divided the audience up, we got kids over there, and they're taking on the uh, the parents over there on that side, so it's kids <laughs> versus parents, red versus blue, all kinds of things going on. Before we play the big Shibuzi, let's take a look back, get some highlights from the three showdown rounds we just played. Yeah, we had the ring toss, Jimmy Neutron do ring toss game right there. And uh, then we stacked some food on our players' heads. And that went quite well. That was quite slimy, quite messy. Then we even played some hockey. And after it was all said and done, we had to flip the coin to determine which team got more points. And where we stand right now is the red team with three points, the blue team with five points. Let's beat our team. Over there, the radical red, the Red Rovers, Justin and Rose with Jessica and their three points. Taking on the true blue yeah, team. Yeah, boy. Anthony, Alex, and the J-Man, and they are in the lead with five points. So the score is five to three, blue over red. Now those points are about to equal picks off of our game board. These guys are going to try and find the special big Shibuzi square on the game board, which you'll be able to see. And if they find that as an instant win, that's what it looks like. However, they may also find the whammy square, which is right there. If they find that, guess what? The other team wins automatically. So even if you're not picking, you can still win the game. Also on our game board, we got some hidden messes. For example, we got some lard. We got raw eggs, boogers, and purple rain. Boogers! Yeah, we got all those things. Right now, let's find out who's right, going first. Red on. team, blue team, come, come on, on in here. We're going to flip the coin. We're going to figure this thing out. Who's going first? Well, that team is... Red! Chance, I think. Okay. Uh, Jonah's already complaining. Give him a chance. He's That's already right. making excuses. All right, well, while these guys head on back to their Shibuzinators, let's tell you the prize that our winning team is going to get today. Argus Photo Phaser Digital Camera with VGA Resolution, LCD Status Display, and 60 Second Video Function from Argus. That's what's at stake. Also, of course, the honor of getting slime. We have 15 or so gallons up there, which we're going to drop on the winning team. And we're going to fire whipped cream cannons at the audience, either the kids or the parents. We'll see how it turns out. Let's do it. Let's play. The Big Shibuzi. All right, the Big Shibuzi and the red team is going first. Give me a number, red team. All right, team. red team, what's our number? Here we go. Number one. Number one. Good way to start. Yeah. Number one is, oh, it's the Big Shibuzi. They won a red team. Heads up, red team. Here comes the slime. Oh, congratulations. That's some good picking. Okay, here's my question. Why is it freezing cold when we're inside and warm when we're outside? Jessica, oh. that, that's a great question. The answer is we don't care. How about some whipped cream for the winning side? And uh, I think we should mess up the blue team also. Yes, Jonah, right. Jonah trying to run away, but he yes, can't do yes, anything. Yes, run away. Yes, run yes, away. Yes. Oh, messes and slime for oh, the God, blue team. Hey, can we get a slime? Oh, we're out of time. Too bad we're out of time. Wow, that's Don't just too bad. Do All right, do it. Do it. <laughs> SpongeBob is coming up next. See you guys.